A new video and a weekly vlog with me like keeping my arm in the air then. <laughs> don't know what I'm doing I hope you guys are good I am starting today on a Monday and it is the second week of August which is absolute madness I can't believe we're already into the second week of August now it's gone so fast already this year and slow at the same time if that makes sense but this morning it's been like the most horrible weather ever and I'm traveling into London today to get my hair done that's why it's currently up in a bun and I never wear it up but I'm kind of liking the bun vibe <laughs> but um I thought I'd just tie it up today and thank goodness I have because the weather is awful but also it's affecting the trains and the travel this morning so I was going to leave in two hours and I'm actually going to leave two hours early and head into London and actually have lunch in London and just sit somewhere while I wait just in the hope that I'm not going to be late to my appointment because it stopped raining now but I've been texted by like 15 friends like India you need to check the trains. I don't know if you're gonna get in or get home. So I'm visualizing that I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm gonna get into London. Um, I've got a hair appointment today with Gareth. He is so, so lovely. I've been seeing him for nearly two years now and I am so excited. I feel like my hair is getting so long and I'm kind of just a bit fed up with it and I was gonna grow it and I was gonna just be like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get it really long and have it long for the first time in like six, seven years. And now I'm like, cut it. I just want it short I want it I actually do want it to be icy white again we'll see kind of what we decide when I see him with like the health and condition of my hair and what's best but yeah I just want it to be cut shorter I want my bangs to be cut shorter I want I want to have like a bob <laughs> I think so yeah I thought I'd take you guys along for today the whole process like what I asked for at the salon and things like that as well and I'm currently in this blazer from Monkey which I absolutely love this little American apparel top and my bra strap hanging out um, that I've had for a while and then my H&M linen trousers which are basically just super comfortable to sit down in and then I'm just in my Veja, Veja however you say them campo trainers I'll show you guys here but please excuse this mess behind me I'm basically doing a Depop upload tonight and that is all for Depop so I've been sorting but yeah just a very simple black and white outfit super comfortable these trousers for like sitting in the salon chair all day and then really comfy trainers as well and I've just got my stuff packed for heading to Jamie's later tonight as well because I've got two fingers crossed I've got a really important campaign to shoot and we've been trying every morning for the last six days and it's just torrential rain. So tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. we are trying for the fifth time. <laughs> so that's what's happening. But yeah, hair in a bun, ready to go. I'm really debating a coat. I feel like autumn is officially happening and everyone is saying it's really cold, but I just don't know. I'm, I get really hot when I'm traveling around London. So I'm just conscious that maybe I should just take like a little mitt or something like that but I'm gonna be inside all day anyway. So I feel like this is gonna be hopefully enough. I mean, it's not, shouldn't be autumn winter yet. Like it really shouldn't. So yeah, this is outfit of the day. I'll leave links to this down below and yeah, I'll see you guys when we get into London.
hell? Thank you. Hello. 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 Hello, Angel. What are you talking? What are you talking? How was your morning? <laughs> Good morning my lovelies, so it is now Tuesday. I actually forgot to show you guys my hair properly yesterday, but this is it. I am very, very happy with the colour. What do you think, Jay? Do you it's like great. It? <laughs> the first thing you said Driving. was... Oh my goodness, there's a lot of lorries going I know, going yeah, on. it's a bit of a nightmare. Blimey. Um, but <laughs> the first thing Jay said to me was, it's very blonde, it makes you look more orange. <laughs> because it is very blonde but it's exactly what I wanted like he's done an incredible job and I had it cut a lot shorter I actually feel like I could have gone shorter so maybe at some point if I really change my mind I think next time I might even go a bit shorter than this um I want mine that blonde you want yours this blonde do yeah. you really yeah does he do men uh yeah I assume so I'll ask him um there's definitely guys in the salon that he works at that also freelance and do guys hair. Salon. Salon. Um, but that was good. And then I went back to Jay's, watched Love Island, chilled out, watched some TikToks, catched up, did that. And then woke up this morning, would have seen Winnie's nice greeting. And then we just were down on the beach shooting a campaign that I had that we'd been trying to shoot for like five days. So I woke up really early and we've literally been out of the house since eight and um, managed to get that done. So fingers crossed the photos are okay because not only did it smell of like tarmac and poo, like that's the only way I can explain it, <laughs> um, but it also was like really <laughs> sunny in the worst places. So it was really hard to shoot, but Jay put up with me being little and quiet. And <laughs> yeah, you meant to lead the shoot and then you're just- I know, silent. I just like lost all- And I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I lost all direction. I was just like, oh. Because it's basically, it was just a bit challenging with like an ice cream melting and things like that. But anyway, that's done. We're going to go get a coffee. Maybe I need a coffee. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. Yeah, um, so we're going to go get a coffee and then head into town, do a little outfit pick for Jay. Um, those of you that don't know, uh, it's not like a big deal, but Jay started posting some fashion bits on his Instagram, which is quite cool. I'm obsessed with the style and fashion going on at the moment. So yeah he started doing that which is really fun so when we go out to shoot me i take some of him and vice versa basically me being behind the camera for once in my life um and yeah, i've had enough <laughs> you've had enough you're like it's time <laughs> um funny though that because jay's new year's resolution was to have more memories and more photos and i mean we didn't know that that would indicate just like styling photos but i mean there's there's some really great pics and it's nice to make memories like that isn't it that's a nice pic. um so that was one of Jay's New Year's resolutions I, <laughs> for you guys. Um, anyway, going for a coffee. And then today is actually a secret project day, which is obviously the most annoying thing that I could possibly say to you guys. Like, oh, I'm doing a secret project. I can't tell you anything about it. It's been going on for like nearly, well, over a year now. Um, and I promise it will be so, so worth it when I can tell you guys and start talking about it more. But um I'm with Kirsty for that because it's part of something we're doing together, which is great. And I haven't seen her in ages. So we are literally in back to back meetings all day on Zoom. So there probably won't be a hell of a lot I can share with you guys. But if I can, I of course will show you and talk to you throughout the day. But that's just a mini update on my Tuesday. And I'll probably spend most of the day in a coffee shop on my laptop on Zoom. So guys, we just went to the bank and had a lunch break and now we're getting a little moon on our way back before our meeting, which is great. Kirsty's here. Hi. Um, and they're doing Eton Mess, Candy Floss, Honey Pistachio, Creamy Coconut, Eton Mess, um, Fish and Chips. I mean, no, what are you getting? I'm getting Passion Fruit and Mango. Oh. Okay. I'm going to get Passion Fruit and Mango and Eton Mess because I want to try one of Eton Mess. I think. So yeah, anyway, that's what we're doing. It's a really, really lovely day, and we've got a meeting in about an hour, and then we just went to the bank and did all that kind of stuff for our secret project, so that's fun. Um, so yeah, I'll update you what we get up to and how the little little moons are. We got them. 
So guys, they gave me three flavours. So I got Eaton Mess, Passion Fruit and Mango, and a pistachio to try. I'm very, very excited. So I'm gonna eat these off camera because I can't do both, and then I'll let you know my thoughts. What flavour did you just get passion fruit? I just got passion fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Kelsey just got three of her fave, and that's, yeah, what's going on. Good morning, guys. I'm with a lovely Winnie this morning. It is now Wednesday, I want to say. Yeah, it's Wednesday today. So yesterday continued with like a lot of the work bits behind the scenes. And then I just switched off in the evening. I was like, got to like eight o'clock and I was still working. So I was like, I'm not going to pick up the camera yet. Um, but I came to Jay's to do the rest of my work. And it's now Wednesday morning. This little one's sleeping. <laughs> She's such a sweetheart. I've, um, curled my hair with hair straighteners today and I actually hate curling it with hair straighteners I've realized I really don't like how it looks anymore so this will be a temporary hair thing she keeps getting closer because she doesn't want me to stop doing this on her chest but blue skies again today I look <laughs> she's like don't she's like you're not doing it right um yeah blue skies again today which is nice um and then i think me and jay are gonna head for a little walk and a coffee am i not doing it right am i not doing it right the massage hey eh? um so we're gonna go get a coffee and then i think we're gonna do some shooting today but like very laid back and chilled um shooting so i was meant to go to boardmasters tomorrow with work and basically worked out that it didn't go through um for various reasons that I won't go into because there's a lot of different elements but basically it just means that although I like basically worked overtime the last few days to get ready to go and had like pretty much everything packed it means that now I've got a few days like today where I can take it a little bit slower before like getting back and getting on top of things tomorrow which is quite nice so I'm gonna see it as like a silver lining to the situation is that like all my festival oh, <laughs> my battery just died but what I was saying was because all my festival stuff that I did like a little order for, for the festival. It basically means I can still use everything for Reading, which I've got at the end of the month, which is really exciting. And I'm still filming my festival haul. I filmed like 35 outfits and then my memory card last week corrupt, if you saw last week's video. But yeah, so I'm just gonna refilm that tomorrow, get on top of it all, do little like autumn transitional looks, which I'm actually really excited about. I don't know why I'm feeling really ready not to be doing summer fashion and styling like I'm quite up for getting quite cozy and styling more jackets and actually I'm going to have a massive I'm going to like attempt to start it today massive clear out and massive charity shop run and little bits like that so yeah anyway today is going to be just like wandering taking pictures to having a coffee that kind of thing and I'll take you guys along for another Wednesday with me good morning we're out, we got coffee. Um, me and Jay always somehow, even though it's like not properly coordinated today, like we do sometimes match yeah. with our outfits. Well, you've got my clothes on. <laughs> Basically, I looked at the weather forecast last night and like I said this morning, I was like, oh, it's a really nice day. Well, it's freezing. It's freezing and it's actually not that nice out. At least it's not raining. Um, I'm in this little black Zara dress my beaches, Jamie's shirt from Top Man, and then Jay's in his, where is that jacket from? You bought this for me. Yeah, is it Top Man? No, it's Urban. Oh, it's Urban. Urban jacket, white Arquette tee, ASOS, ASOS Nike. And that is our outfits of today. And then we got 17 grams coffee and I'm so excited to down this. So that's the update. We're now gonna walk and chat and yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs> so my lovelies i am back at home now after a little morning walk me and jamie are just not feeling 100 percent today like we were gonna go and do like a big shoot day and we're just like right let's write that off and we're gonna come back to mine and we're gonna sort some charity bags and then we're gonna go to the gym together and actually chloe happened to be in like sync with my charity like she's been doing basically charity shop stuff yesterday so I was like I need to get on it as well because I just have so much stuff and I think I keep forgetting and like putting off actually sorting stuff like all down here is like depop stuff or charity stuff that I just haven't sorted out so 
I'm going to do that now and then Chloe text saying do you mind helping me out with some charity bags and like driving them to a charity shop and I was like do you know what let's do two in one and make this work together that I'll do it and she'll do it and then Jay can help us out which is amazing so currently going to be doing that I'm just going to be sorting um one of our like secret project things arrived this morning again I can't tell you which is so annoying but it was a really exciting moment because I feel like with everything we've been doing for this secret project which hopefully we can start sharing with you in October time has been like we kind of went for a stage of like the excitement and the creation of it and then it went through like a standstill of kind of like a lot of maths and a lot of kind of work behind the scenes that was literally let like going in blindfolded which is the whole experience in itself that like you learn as you go um but today we had something like physically that we could see and we could touch and it was just a really nice moment. So that felt really nice. Um, and I can't wait to actually talk to you guys about it. And I'm sorry I'm being like really secretive about it, but I just can't until we know that things are going ahead. Otherwise it's like telling you and then things changing and it not being <laughs> the best thing to do. But anyway, I'm going to have a massive sort out. I'm literally going to sort out this area and then create some little bags for charity, find a few charity shops that be willing to have them all and then yeah perhaps try and do some depop stuff as well i'll leave my depop link down below if any of you guys are wondering too i try and upload on there like once every two weeks but it varies quite a lot so yeah and also i haven't washed my hair in like four days now no three days i went on monday so like not even that long bearing in mind i've been to the gym and stuff and it's just not really like as greasy as i thought it would be and it's just such a like blonde colour which I love and I know when I wash it it's going to go blonder so that's exciting too um but yeah I'm gonna eat some sushi and yeah start packing stuff away hello lovelies so it is now Thursday and it is about 2 p.m picking up the camera late again but honestly this morning was like a weird rush because I slept through like 10 alarms and woke up an hour later than I was meant to but all good I've had a really lovely productive morning I got my nails done by Beth how lovely are these I was actually gonna do pistachio and then a like brown gradient like around my nails but I felt like that was like going too autumnal too quick like I'm really excited to go very autumnal with like fashion and nails and makeup and stuff like that but I thought to stay quite summery but also kind of transition into autumn I'd go for the gradient of the pistachios and like matcha colours so that was kind of my inspiration behind the nails today which I'm so excited about I absolutely love them I've actually just realised they work perfectly in my little shorts <laughs> but I am currently I've just been filming my festival lookbook I just finished that finally after filming it twice and losing the footage and then filming again but that was done so that's good been doing some secret project work which I basically am just going to keep saying because that is so much of my life right now that I feel like I sometimes am a bit absent because I can't really talk about that but it's it is what I'm putting all my energy and love into at the moment as well but currently I am going to turn you guys around if I can <laughs> I am shooting some ways to wear Bermuda shorts I was actually going to style it with this vest and now I'm thinking I'm not because I think it's too much. I think I'm gonna do the shorts, pink heels, pink blazer, and like a little cream ribbed top. I was actually, yeah, I think the pink is too much, but I'm styling these a few ways. So I thought I would show you in this video because it will just be some photos over on my Instagram. So for anyone that cares, <laughs> in the next few clips, I'm gonna share how I style these Zara Bermuda shorts. And it won't be with this pink top, but I will show you in a minute how I style it. Okay, so typical me. <laughs> I forgot to share the outfit of the first outfit I tried on so I'm going to leave that on the screen here. This is outfit number two. I've just gone for cream blazer, the shorts, cream espadrilles but you could just change out and wear with trainers and then again just the same cream rib top which I get mainly from H&M and Weekday. They do like the best like nicest quality material ones so they are the ones I go for but yeah this is look number two. I would usually go for a cream blazer without the black buttons with a look like this but my cream blazer without my black buttons is in the wash so usually I just go for the, like the neutrals together if I was to style it like that but even with the little top like this and then little sandals or chunky trainers is a really nice way to style it as well. Then for the next one going for more of a like neutral dark way of styling this is more of like my street style 
kind of dressed down look. You could just do this with a black tee. You could do it with the chunky boots. This is, I guess, moving into like the autumnal months as like a tr transitional look, sorry. And then I've just got my fedora hat on from H&M, my fake leather jacket from H&M, and then the shorts and some really old boots from Office, but I will link all similar to everything down below, but I really love how the shorts make like an outfit pop with those darker looks as well, because they're one of those pieces that throughout the seasons, like spring, summer, and then moving into the autumn months as well, they can just add that really nice pop of color into wardrobes. Then next up, I have just gone for a little white soft tee, the shorts, some little white strappy sandals and then a bag just to tie in the green of the shorts. But this is just like an everyday spring summer look that hopefully we can wear a lot more of over the next like two weeks before moving into autumn. Like I'm hoping we get a little bit of a heat wave in the autumn months just for a little bit longer because I feel like we all need it. But this is just a really nice little stretchy ribbed top from Zara as well. And then these, I actually can't remember where they're from, but I will find them and link them down below. And then the last outfit to share with you all, because I'm going to link the rest over on my Instagram as I've got a meeting in about 20 minutes, so I'm like rushing around to get it done. But I just went for a little date night look. So I went for these white, really, really comfortable River Island Hills. And then this is actually the blazer that I thought was in the wash. That isn't. <laughs> but this is just my old vintage blazer. I got it from a charity shop about seven years ago. And I just love it and live in it. And yeah, just styled it like that. And then I've got like nothing underneath. But you could put a little bralette or a little shirt or something like that too. But this is the look. Hi guys, so I shot all the Bermuda short stuff, I filmed a video and then I had my meeting and Jay is now here. And we are ready and we are heading out to a new restaurant launch in Brighton called Kusaki. I probably doesn't, you don't pronounce it like that, I'm probably gonna learn how to pronounce it today. But it's basically their new tasting menu of their sushi and signature cocktails and it's run by the same people that do Food for Friends and Wolf Fox and if you've watched my videos you know that I'm a big fan of those places anyway. So very excited to go try it out, so we're gonna head there now and I'll probably time lapse the next few slides and then let you know either later on or in the morning how everything goes. day dinner last night was amazing it was so so good i got a little bit drunk because it was unlimited prosecco so i was like literally just didn't know how much i was drinking so anyway didn't pick up the camera when i got in but today has been a day of the seagulls are so noisy so nice. um today has been a morning of really amazing pancakes which you would have seen I went to Nowhere Man, which is actually where I got my first and only tattoo. So fun fact for you guys, and it's somewhere that does the best pancakes and bagels as well. So I really recommend if you come to Brighton to go there. And then me and KP were just doing some secret project work, which again, I said like, so annoying saying that, but you know, it's just what it is. And I'm with Kirsty now, I'll show you her. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and we've basically just been shooting for the afternoon. It's actually now like half five, but I just thought I'd pick up the camera now because I've just been super preoccupied with shooting on this bad boy. So yeah, and we're gonna go for a dinner I think soon, but currently on the last outfit for KP, I will leave some pictures that we took today on screen. I'm actually moving like fully into autumn content now. And all the outfits I did today are like old pieces in my wardrobe from like years that I've had for a really long time. And I just feel like I want to, well, I did a massive clear out and I'm still doing a massive clear out. Kirsty inspired me because she recently did, well, had to do a clear out with the move, <laughs> but she did a massive clear out and I was like, I need to just do that. So that's what I've been doing and just refinding my love and inspo of outfits in my own wardrobe. So that's been really nice. So yeah, shot a lot of them today because I've got enough summer content to last me too long, yeah. And um, yeah, we're on the last outfit, so we're gonna shoot that and then I'll show you guys where we head for dinner.
actually now currently Monday and I didn't actually pick up the camera from the last few clips you saw but basically my weekend was just me in my room working and getting things done because this week now the day after you're watching this this week that you're currently watching this on is actually a really busy week where I'm out quite a lot so in next week's video you'll be taken along with me for some of the days that I'm out and about but I'm in London tomorrow for a really exciting event and then I'm in Portsmouth for two days and then I'm kind of like busy here and there out and about so I'm not home a lot so I basically just had a lot of days like on Saturday I spent all day pretty much in my room until the evening and then I went out and then Sunday again I spent all day working inside so not much fun stuff to share with you guys but that was currently my weekend just worked on the weekend and just been sorting today I've actually been packing for Reading today because basically of like transport stuff and things like that I'm actually going to like a day gig with Kirsty, it was her birthday present from me which happens to be on the same Friday of the weekend of Reading so I need to pack so I can get my stuff to Kirsty's house in like Reading way and so that it's there so I don't have to take well you can't take your suitcase into the um, gig that we're going to see so <laughs> I've had to pack a week and a half early which was so bizarre because the weather right now is amazing but obviously with festivals you don't know if it's going to rain or be really hot so I had to kind of pack for all weathers but I just did that which was fun really enjoyed packing for that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's anything you guys want to see feel free to let me know I'm happy to start sharing a little bit more things you guys want to see whether it's more morning routines or hanging out with friends or more shoot days or things like that just let me know and I'm happy to share what I can but I will see you guys in the next video lots of love Mwah. bye